Hello there comrades, it's me, Soviet general here, in another Führer Redux video, because yeah I just feel like it. So are y'all ready to become the heroes of the Soviet Union? Because we are entering the Slav man free, only because I didn't really had the time to make the videos I wanted to make in May because of school and then some personal shit, but now I also want to say that I will take the summer pretty chill so expect one or two videos per week I will be also going outside a lot and enjoying the life overall. So that's that and if you enjoyed today's video one like equals one successful revolution in a third world country and one subscribe equals one new person to gulag. А что мы будем делать сегодня? Comrade I'm glad you are practicing your Russian and yes it's a good question today we will make Soviet Union great again. Yes the red wave is coming. Coming. And the revolution in our lands is still led by Vladimir Lenin and now it's just a Dedushka Lenin, because he's old as fuck. And we have to fix our grain union of ours, because these modifiers ain't good. And you know your shit is bad when planes in 1936 will take you 7997 days to research. But fear not my workers, we have 108 divisions that are uh, kinda useless to us and will lose a lot of equipment but we will be a war ready in no time. The supply situation in our union will be horrible I can see it just now. And yeah Premier Lenin let's go with our boy in charge. Ah and here is a little thingy if you want to read the entire Soviet history of this old history mod. Come forward revolutionaries we will starve together here. Oh no and it seems like that the end of our great leader is near here. While Lenin is still alive we will try to um, help the agriculture why not we need that little bit extra stability oh fuck and he is dead too late to kill more kulaks I see and now we have the congress of the soviets and yeah the political chaos just grew in our country because yeah who will lead the soviet union uh oh this revolting ain't busting no cap we can't let the peasants overthrow our country we will do it from inside ourselves well this is just great workers scoring for a general strike but we are not really industrialized so there aren't many workers but they strike anyway. A crippling industry let's go boys. More negative modifiers, railway strike good we won't get any supplies to our uh, people here our army will starve to death probably. But we are used to starving ourselves so this is no big deal. I see we still have people that really support our government thank you for the trust. Econ is brought to a whole yeah I kinda see that happening our economy is breaking down but uh, did we really had an economy in the first place not the Pravda sales the only thing I didn't want to drop here Kiro calls for unity and stability well no shit everyone just wants that in the Soviet Union Ayo rumors of Trotsky takeover let me just stick an ice pick in his head to calm down his ambitions now after the meeting of the generals I feel like soon we will get to choose who will lead our union. Yes, yeah, strikes are done and alliance between Molotov, Bukharin and Zinoviev. A lot of interesting stuff is happening down in Moscow. And finally we choose our own destiny and fate and I feel like Mr. Tukachevsky will take over the loyal Red Army and use it to bring some stability to our great nation. Yes, Tukachevsky storms the capital like it's nothing and now he's the leader of the Soviet Union but we will see for how long. Now that our economy hit the bottom the only way is now up. I feel like we will see a lot of those and Yes, this is not good because divisions are deserting us. We will see how much of our army will remain with us after this. Oh shit, oh fuck. This is just really bad modifiers all around. But we will endure this pain for the workers revolution. This is very nice. The marsh coup is done and also we have to stabilize our country a little bit so we don't fall apart. And it also unlocked our new focus tree here. So yes, control the militia. It's all 
all around pretty good. Oh fuck no. The breakdown of the Soviet Union, the failing state and... This is not good at all, I don't feel like I have to explain it. You know some people protest against the coup but uh, they will all just disappear to far lands of Siberia I suppose. Uh, uh, nothing happened in Moscow that night. And you see finally our situation has somewhat stabilized here but we still have that political divide. But we are on the good tracks with Mr. Tukhachevsky here. Now we have a very important decision on our hands for the chairman of the Soviet Union. We will pick Mr. Yezhov. I got a little feeling that Voroshilov will soon disappear. Comrade Kiro, will you just for a second shut the fuck up and not uh, interfere in the government affairs? And uh, bye bye Tukhachevsky. I feel like Mr. Yezhov has something to do with this shit. But yeah, Yezhov becomes premier of the Soviet Union. God save us. Uh, I don't feel like that the communist would say God save us. But who am I here to judge because now Nikolai Yezhov will purge the entire Soviet Union. Yes, I don't see anything wrong with this picture. And you can see as I was worrying about our divisions, yes, we have lost most of our equipment. Now Mr. Yezhov will ensure the loyalty of our army so we can even do some shit in Europe and maybe even in Asia. Now isn't this very good, the stability returns to our lands and hopefully we will soon be able to equip our army well properly. Well, still we have 3635 days to research our planes, but it's less than before. And it seems like, like slowly we will be able to remove those negative modifiers from region to region. And it feels like that in our economy tab we have to start with our industrialization that will take a while to process, yes, but it will be ultimately worth it. Now Slovakia is dead and Czech Republic turned to socialism. Oh Oh my, Clement Gottwald, welcome to the team, hopefully very soon. And finally that our nation was stabilized, we have to go on and start the great industrial revolution in Russia and the whole Soviet Union. It will take a while, but finally we will be able to do some shit. Poland is kinda aggressive here, we will have to stop them eventually, they are going after everyone around. Even the workers rose up in Austria, but soon they will all die. Because because I feel like the German Deutsche Reich will interfere. But don't mind if I do join the fun. I mean we won't be able to do much here but the military XP would be nice. I feel like it's time to expand those good old gulags. Also I have activated 5 year plan and we have to have, maybe I should have just waited with this but uh, oh well. A uh, minor famine get out of here, a little famine never killed anyone. Right? Our situation is getting a little bit better day by day so I feel like now it's time to finally do some expanding ourselves we will go to the Caucasus for the Mountain Republic. Our supplies are shit, we lack some equipment here and there but I feel like we can win this because we can go just around them all. So this will be a very quick war, a little bit of micromanagement and we will be soon done. Now we will do the same in Central Asia and soon we will have our new Soviet Union ready for anything. Maybe, just maybe I'm doing a little thing in Spain, but you will never know. Oh look who left Madrid undefended. Uh, this is just too easy. Ah yes, Comrade Yezhov has achieved socialist Spain in Spain. Oh no, the Deutsche Reich is making moves. We have to get ready very soon. Our whole army needs to be on high alert. Ah yes, a border conflict just started over nobody fighting here. A ghost divisions of the Russian Republic and the Soviet Union are fighting over Siberian land. This is peak schizophrenia. But for us it's time to get involved in a little war. But I didn't notice that the Polish were in the French faction. That doesn't matter. Because we are just war ready and well nobody is here at our borders. And even Italians and the British are willing to help us against their old nemesis. Nobody will be able to stop the Red Horde. Yes, we will sweep through the whole Eastern Europe like a big red wave that we are. And also comrades, big celebration, we have completed the 5 year plan in less than 5 years. A Finland-Soviet treaty? Huh, I will see how long this will last. And the fucking Japan declared war on me, this will be... 
a lot of fun, but at least I have some divisions already up my sleeve here. So we are not completely defenseless, but the supplies man that will be horrible. Yes indeed it is time for the great patriotic war. So we will go through Russian Republic to clap down the Japanese here in Asia. But I don't really know how we will get to the Japanese Isles here, considering that we don't have a navy here. Anyway, who doesn't love two front wars? I love them all. Period, Tavarishche, we have to spread the revolution to Estonia as well. Now we will also quickly go and secure Ukraine for ourselves. And then we will focus all of our might to Japan. One thing that I didn't notice was that the Japan joined the German faction and the Germans can come for us any moment, so instead of waiting for the Germans, we will strike them first in 30 days. And I have my army here ready, so hopefully we will be able to get at least to Berlin without any problems. And now it's time that we destroy the ever-living fuck out of the Germans. No one is here. This seems pretty good. Good. But we will see for how long we can maintain our fast progress into German lands. Ah yes, Czechia wants to join the international, let's go with them. Problem here is that we don't have enough planes to cover our front, but uh, we are doing pretty well. Well, relatively speaking well. And even the great Czechs are here to help us against the Germans. So yeah, we will rush through their lands here and there and see what we can cause here. Probably a lot of chaos. Even without air support, we are slowly making our way to Germany and massacring a lot of Germans along the way. Yeah, it's slow, but worth it. A lot of people will die, but that's just the price of war. All boys, unzip your pants, I'm about to hit that Berlin grind set. Or maybe not yet. Ah yes, finally, helping Spain paid off. And hopefully, when they finish Portugal, they can help out against France and Germany as well. I hope at least. And now finally, we are exchanging Berlin here with the Germans, but we sure do be having a lot of fun capturing it all over again and again and again. Once from the Germans and another time from the Japanese. But now let's hope that we can just destroy the Germans once and for all. And yes, at least the war against France is complete here. But we still have to finish the war against the Germany. Soon the war in Europe will be over. And after completing my collaboration government here, Germany is dead. Now it's time to kill all the Swedes and Japanese that uh, went here to sacrifice their lives for the Germany. Oh, you are not getting away with this. So yeah, and these are the remains of the whole German army, destroyed in one little pocket. And yeah, we are slowly rolling through France trying to save our little Iberia here. You know me, I love me some two front wars and this second front is doing pretty well. I haven't really been looking over it, so it's a miracle that it didn't collapse. Now go boys, period to Vladivostok. Uh, I love to clean up these low-life anti-revolutionaries, they will be all dead in no time. Yes, so uh, I didn't really save them, but I'm coming, Iberia, I promise. Oh, the German and Japanese are trying to land here, we will do a quick process with them. They came to Soviet lands to die. No no exceptions, no escape. Now before we turn all of our attention here to Asia, firstly we will just deal with the Finland and Azerbaijan. And sorry Finland, but I need to get to Sweden so they just don't invade my coast here. So yeah, this will be very quick and painless. Oh, maybe that's a little lie, but who cares? You know, I have one little question. Why the fuck is Saudi Arabia sending volunteers and defending Stockholm here? The Arab takeover of Sweden is crazy man. And now we will go through the Caucasus so we can get to the Balkans here and destroy the German faction in Europe once and for all. Because yeah, this is just one massive pain. Oh, you motherfuckers thought how safe you are because you didn't have a border with me. But now we will create a kebab revolution in Turkey. Now I really thought that I had to turn my whole army here but we are doing pretty well so in the meantime I'm going to conquer Romania and all of their allies. So yeah, another easy conquest for the Soviet Union. And now it's finally the time when we invade Japan. And yeah, they didn't even react to what happened. 
our army quickly moves in and deals with them all. Because they have maximally 21 divisions and I'm sending 72. So yeah, this is a little unfair, but who the fuck cares? Raping Nanking wasn't fair either. Bruh, I want to scream. This was like the one of the worst two front wars I have ever had, but finally it's over. So now that I have secured some important parts of the world, it is time for us to destroy the British Imperial faction here and I feel like it's a good time because Americans went war with them, so they have a nice distraction over in the Canada, me and the boys coming to destroy the British Empire. And yes, the classical Dover is open for Soviet invasion. We are so powerful that we don't even need a commander for this army group, it is also the time for us to secure the Asia for ourselves because we have to kill the British Raj because they are also a major power here. My great Soviet forces will force themselves to Rome. Yes, this is how we roll comrades, sneaking to capital cities. Oh fuck oh shit, we are killing so many Britoids that it's not even fun. But well hell we have to spread the revolution further. You know that the British faction is going low when Libya is a major country and they don't have well almost any divisions and are about to get clapped pretty hard by my soviet boys uh, americans and soviets the best friends against the oppression of the british empire we both do be against that imperialism while we are making uh, our imperialism legit kurdistan you meant to say the eastern province of the ottoman socialist republic Comrades, it's revolution time. Yes, I'm sending divisions to help America to just have a final showdown against these capitalists. Yes, the Soviets are the true peacekeepers in this fucking world. And now this is it, the biggest land operation in human history just begun. We need to destroy capitalism once and for all in the American form here. And yes, my elite divisions that were like conquering the half of the world are going through the Americans like it's nothing. All the wars that the United States were in were just a little playtime compared to what I'm about to do to them. Yes, indeed, the Great Patriotic War was move to the US steppies or whatever the fuck the surface of the United States of America is made. We will go hard on those capitalists, we will storm Washington DC. Тогда вода нам как земля, и тогда нам экипаж семья. So yeah comrades, tell me, did you enjoy today's Yezhov's wild ride and achieving world revolution with the third international? If so, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Hearts of Iron 4 videos. Tell me in the comments what other countries or mods you would like me to play on the channel. And yeah comrades, see you soon in the next Hearts of Iron 4 video. And big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now. Now, any special thanks goes to the Laminator, Razornon and Pat My Balls for being the highest channel members.